The secret is out. Last week, the identity of Otto the Orange was revealed. But tonight, we learn the stories of the three seniors who have brought Otto to life. Over the years, he's been the very fabric of Syracuse University. Otto the Orange's spirit, timeless image, and warm heart have defined the very character of the 315. And now, we meet the faces of the seniors behind the mask, whose identity has been a secret yeah. until now. It's been a side of my life that I haven't shared with many people. And so. Justin Stitt has brought life to Otto for the past four and a half years. A lot of us, when we join the program, we see Otto's, how happy they make everyone around campus and so getting that chance to be able to do it for other people and kind of pass the torch down the line is quite awesome and definitely keeps you going. And then there's Taylor Konecki. She's a Syracuse native and was recently in the suit during one magical moment. National champion Syracuse Orange! I got to meet the 2003 um, national championship team and in that moment I was just like wow, these people are legit celebrities, and they're treating Otto like a celebrity. And sitting next to Taylor is Akuo Kobayashi. He came to Syracuse all the way from Japan. It's really nice being able to like act like a child again. People will look at you weird if you were like a regular person, but if you do it in suit, it's really funny and cute. And I think those things are just really fun because you get to exert yourself and just exert energy that you wouldn't usually use. It's no surprise that Otto is quite the character, but what not everyone knows is the Division I athlete behind the orange. I don't know, you might think, well, what does a mascot do to work out? But like, it, there's like agility, we run a lot, um, we do lift weights. I think the biggest difference between like any other sport and being Otto is that you can't really show that you're tired. You can't like, get on your knees like take a break you can't like take a deep breath that often you would have to be like energetic while holding your breath and then sprinting around otto is just a busy orange julie wallace is otto's coach a lot of it involves recruiting and training a team just like any other coach might do building team dynamics and take a look at her office Hi, this is julie. she's quite proud of her job which makes saying goodbye to these seniors very emotional. They've been putting years and hours into this, and in some ways they get a lot of recognition because people are so thrilled that Otto is there, but in other ways they don't get any recognition because no one knows it's them. But on Friday morning that changed on Syracuse University's birthday. Happy They took to Instagram for the big reveal. Once you're an auto, you're always an auto. As I said earlier, it's going to be bittersweet. It's, yeah, it's hit me as Icky knows and Taylor <laughs> too many times already. But I guess maybe it's not too many times if you don't realize how special this moment is, how special this experience is in the university community. You, yeah, it's quite awesome. From game days in the dome to Sports Center commercials and championship celebrations. <laughs> These three so. seniors have selflessly sacrificed <laughs> countless hours of their college experience for the greatest reward of all. In Syracuse, John Perrick, Citrus TV News.